Welcome to Run SDJ. I'm Steve, and today I'm taking a look at another pair of open ear earphones. A couple of months back on the channel, I reviewed the Shox Open Fit. A few weeks ago, True Free reached out to me to see if I would be interested in trying out their open ear earphones, the O1, and of course, I said yes. So, for full disclosure, True Free provided me with a pair of the O1 earphones to try out. They have had no input into this review, so like all my other reviews, all the thoughts and opinions you'll hear in this review are my own. But I do want to say thank you to TrueFree for being the first brand to reach out to me since I started this channel and offering me some of their products to try. So the TrueFree 01 are around a third of the price of the Shox Open Fit, coming in at just under £50 in the UK and around $55 in the USA and are available on Amazon. They come nicely packaged and in the box is the charging case with the headphones inside, a USB-A to USB-C charge cable, a user guide and a card encouraging you to install the TrueFree app. They charge via USB-C, but as with most portable devices these days, there isn't a charger in the box. Comparatively to the Shox Open Fit, the charge case is quite big. It's still, however, pocketable. The bigger form factor is because the headphones themselves are a little bit bigger than the Shox. The O1 case also houses a bigger 800 milliamp hour battery, giving a massive 54 hours of playtime with the case compared to a stated 28 hours for the Shox Open Fit, which have a 600 milliamp hour battery. The charge case has a battery indicator with three lights indicating the current level of charge, which is a nice bonus that you don't get with the shocks. Inside the case are the earbuds themselves, and they are a bit bigger in size than the shocks open fit, weighing in at 10 grams per bud compared to 8 grams for the shocks open fit and they are an all plastic construction. The True Freeze actually use the more recent Bluetooth 5.3 compared to the 5.2 on the Shox. This can reduce latency, which is possibly why the True Free O1s also have a game mode. I'm not much of a gamer, so I didn't really use that mode in my testing. The buds themselves have an IPX4 rating. This means they aren't certified against any dust, but should be protected against splashing water. This compares to a IP54 rating for the Shox Open Fit, so the same amount of protection against liquids, but the Shox also carry a solid protection rating of dust protected. So onto my experiences of using the True Free 01. Straight out of the box, the True Freeze are definitely bigger than the Shox Open Fit, but despite their size, they honestly don't feel a whole lot heavier in the hand than the open fits, despite being two grams per bud heavier. Despite their all plastic construction, there is still a nice amount of flex in the arms, so they aren't completely rigid. Pairing the device is pretty easy. With the buds in the charge case, you just press the button in the case and wait for the light on the earbud to flash red and white, and then find them on your Bluetooth menu on your device. They can be paired to multiple devices at the same time, and this option can be toggled on and off in the True Free app. On the ears, the O1s are actually very comfortable. As you'll see here, they pass the head shake test, not falling out of the ears despite a bit of rigorous shaking. I was able to get through a full working day wearing them all day and I never felt like I was getting ear fatigue. The same can be said for them in an active scenario. I never felt during workouts that my ears were getting sore, so that is a big tick. The True Freeze feature a 16.2 millimeter driver and the quality of the audio is pretty good Surprisingly good, in fact, for earphones in this price range. If you do a side-by-side -side comparison with the Shox Open Fit, the soundstage here is definitely more compressed, but that being said, it still has a clarity to it, and honestly, once you're attuned to it, it's definitely not a third of the audio quality of the Shox. They get as loud as I would personally want with a pair of earbuds, and I far prefer the sound quality of these compared to bone conducting earphones. In my Shox review, I gave my reasons for opting for open ear earphones rather than a new set of bone conduction ones. Ultimately, it came down to struggling to hear things like podcasts or audiobooks on runs where there was a high degree of background noise, 
such as on some busy roads. The open ear experience in terms of still being cognizant of your surroundings while still feeling like you are getting good audio clarity from both audiobooks and music using the True Freeze is as good as on the shocks. The quality of the microphones I would describe as fine. I use them on some Microsoft Teams calls at work without any complaints, but here are four audio samples from different audio devices so you can judge for yourself. First up, the True Free O1s. This is what the microphones sound like in the True Free O1. Next, the Shocks Open Fit. This is what the microphones sound like on the Shocks Open Fit. And the Sony WF-1000 XM5s are 300 pounds pair of over-ear headphones. This is what the microphones sound like on the Sony XM5s. And finally, the built-in microphone on the iPhone 15 Pro. This is what the microphones sound like on the iPhone 15 Pro. For me, there isn't a huge discernible difference between the True Free and the Shock Open Fit, in all honesty. The Sony XM5s sound better, but then the iPhone 15 Pro just knocks them all out of the water but the True Free are still definitely functional. In terms of reliability, I used the True Freeze for a couple of weeks of running training. On my first run in them, the connection between them and my iPhone whilst listening to Spotify was a little bit intermittent, which had me a bit worried. However, in all of my other runs in them, about seven in total, I didn't experience any other connection issues. The sound remained seamless throughout, so I don't know what was happening during my initial run. They have handled everything up to a half marathon distance, which included a bit of a downpour, and they weren't affected by the wet conditions. I would say that the touch controls in all conditions are a bit sensitive for my liking. Even the lightest accidental touch seems to trigger the control. It's a personal preference, but I prefer physical control buttons on my earphones and headphones. But this seems to be the direction most earphones are going now, including the Shox Open Fit, but they were not quite as sensitive to the touch. Which neatly leads me to talk about the app. The True Free app has quite a lot of nice features for something at this price point. This includes battery levels of the earbuds, custom touch controls, nine preset EQ settings, but with further options for personal EQ customization and toggles for multi Bluetooth pairing and game mode. The default mapping of the touch controls wasn't necessarily to my tastes, so it was good to be given full control of customizing these in the app. But this is where I encountered the app being a little bit glitchy and needs a little bit of perseverance. Initially, despite clicking the customize touch control, the app didn't give me the options for remapping the controls and some of the texts on some of the app menus was blacked out. But I somehow stumbled on how to do a firmware update by clicking the settings button and just hazarding a guess of which one of the blacked out menu options was it. It turned out to be a firmware update, which out of the box, I think the earphones need to take advantage of that full app functionality. I'll put up a screenshot of the menu options as they should appear in case you need to see for yourselves the options. Following the firmware update, it allowed me to remap the touch controls to my liking. This includes single tap, double tap, triple tap, and a long press, and each bud can be configured separately. You can see in the screenshot the different options you have for mapping the buttons, so there's quite a lot to choose from. Honestly, the slight glitches aside, I think some of the more expensive brands could learn something from the level of customization that TrueFree gives you here in the app. So what are my final thoughts on the TrueFree O1? I would say that in this price category, the True Freeze are a great value buy. They are a comfortable, good sounding pair of open ear earphones. If you're thinking about venturing into the fairly new world of open ear earphones, perhaps as an alternative to bone conductors, I don't think you could really do much better than giving these a go at this price point. The customization that the app offers once you get beyond the little glitches at this price point is also a welcome bonus. Depending on when you are watching this video, in the video description, you might find a discount code for a special promotion on the TrueFree O1s 
though this might not be available in all markets. So thanks again to TrueFree for providing me with some earphones to test and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. See ya.